Okay, so if you've watched the series up until this point, you've gotten a pretty good understanding of many aspects of programming. You're welcome. Now, it's time to go out into the real world and write some actual code. But what kind of program, I can hear you asking me through the computer screen. And the answer is truly whatever you want, really. Act surprised since programming is so cool. As I'm sure you know by now, you can program just about anything you have on your mind. Anything from simple games to complex software. We've equipped you with the basics that are going to be used in pretty much any program you do decide to write. But that doesn't mean every programming language is perfect for every application. Each language has its own strengths and weaknesses, and choosing the right one is very important for making it easier, or sometimes even just possible, for you to program what you want. So that's what we are going to talk about today, choosing the best language for what you want to do. Now, we've talked in a previous video about low-level and high-level programming languages. In case you haven't seen the episode, then let me quickly explain. Higher level programming languages have a high level of abstraction for machine language, that series of zeros and ones we talked about from way back when, while lower level programming languages have a low level of abstraction for machine language. For example, block programming would be a high level language, as it does not take a high level of understanding of the inner workings of a computer to program it. The theoretical highest level of a programming language would be if I could just write down what I wanted the computer to do in simple English, and it would just work. But sadly, that doesn't exist yet. On the other side of the spectrum, the lowest level programming language would be just feeding zeros and ones into the computer at supersonic speed. So how do you choose what type of language you need? Well, it depends what you're trying to do, as sometimes you will need very specialized languages to get done what you want. The world of computer science is vast and contains many fields, so trying to cover everything in one language would be impossible. This has led to the creation of thousands of different programming languages, each designed for a specific task. For example, if you're trying to design a website, and delve into that career path. Using HTML and CSS is probably your best bet. HTML is a markup language that is designed for writing content of a website, while CSS is great for designing the style of the website. You interact with HTML code every day, and you can even see it right now if you right-click and hit Inspect Element. This will truly show you how complex HTML and CSS can be. Maybe it would be best for you to use a scripting language. A scripting language is a language that has many commands for you to use that can also be run without needing to be compiled. Scripts can be faster to write than actual programs and tend to be easier to port between operating systems, allowing for cross-platform support. Scripts can also be used with websites, oftentimes adding to the overall user experience of the site. If you want to go into web design, this might be the best bet for you. Examples of scripting languages are Perl, PHP, Ajax, and JavaScript. If you just want to make a general purpose program, you should probably use a general purpose language. General purpose languages, as they sound, have a wide variety of applications. Usually they should be your go-to languages. Examples of general purpose languages are Java, C++, and Python. They each have their own different benefits over one another. Java is best at developing games and interactive web pages. C++ is best for writing applications and system programs. And Python can act as a scripting language for web programming, as well as writing applications and data analysis. While selecting the right general purpose language for your big project is very important, for most of your programs, any of them would work. It really comes down to preference. Get to know each language and decide which one syntax rules you like the best and find most comfortable. If you get to know one general purpose language really well and enjoy programming with it, you can apply it to just about any of the projects you plan on writing. Personally, I tend to use Python for most of my projects. This is mostly not due to any functional difference between Python and any other general purpose language, though there are a decent amount, but it is mainly because I find its syntax rules most convenient and easiest to write programs with. Overall, either you can consider the project you plan on doing and research and see which language boasts the most advantages for your purposes, or you can simply become comfortable with a language and use it for most of your projects you decide to write. Now, the introduction to programming series is just about done. I know, it's very sad. To wrap it up next episode, we are going to discuss applications of programming so you can know what to do next with your newfound knowledge of programming. If you have enjoyed this series, be sure to subscribe for future content and click on the playlist to the right for all of our previous episodes. Thank you for watching.